Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do the top 10 Netflix shows that you need to binge watch. That's a mouthful. Let me take a drink of my wine. So these shows I have watched, some of these shows I have watched multiple times because they're just that good. So we're gonna go through my list, my top 10, and so you guys can just jump right to it. We are all stuck inside, so I'm gonna give you some things to put on your list for your viewing pleasure. So the first one is the show Containment. And um, this one, I am actually re-watching it. I started watching it a few nights ago. I watched the whole thing maybe a year and a half ago, and it's just that good. So I, I started re-watching it, and it's still that good. But it is about a virus that gets brought into our United States and it affect, and um, it shows how it spreads and it also shows um, it follows five or six characters and then how this virus affects their lives and how they kind of get through it. But it's really good. The storylines are really good. The acting's pretty great and it's just good and I love it. So containment, go check it out. The next one is Lock and Key and this one is a kind of new one to um, Netflix. And it is about a family who moves into this house after a tragic occur happens to the family. The dad passes away. Oops, that's not a spoiler. You'll find that out pretty quick. And then it shows how they find out all this stuff about their family and all this stuff about their dad. It's supernatural. You'll notice from my list, I do enjoy supernatural type shows. Lock and Key, it's really good. And um, the storyline, the actors are pretty great. The next one is The Mist, and this one is a kind of a scary one. Um, if you saw the movie The Mist many, many years ago that had that weird cliffhanger at the end, that was terrible. But this one is kind of the same premise, but The Mist goes into a town and it shows how everyone um, handles this mist. Um, you go to through the different storylines, you get to learn about the different characters, and then you see how they grow and evolve and how they interact and intermingle with um, this big mist looming over their town. And it's really good. And if you like the movie, you will love the show. And um, it's an easy watch. The next one is The Colony and another supernatural show. This one is about aliens invading our world and then just how everything goes to and um, it's really good. I love the characters. The main characters are a family and you follow along with them and it's pretty intense and you just see how this alien invasion really messes up a town and just kind of changes everybody. And um, I love it. The Colony, it has a few seasons, so you definitely need to go check it out. And I'm looking that way because I heard my three-year-old, but she is, she's fine. <laughs> the next one is The Magician, and I'm looking down at my list. And this is another supernatural one, and it's about young kids that have powers and they go to a special school and you just see how their powers unfold, how they grow into their powers and all of that good stuff. Another good one is Sabrina and it's not like your Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It's a darker version and it's like the magician but different. But both of those are really good if you love like supernatural flicks. So the magician and Sabrina. The sixth one is one of my favorites. Like, I think this was on another favorites list, but I could seriously watch this show over and over and over and over and it had four seasons. It is Heart of Dixie. And it was just so, so good. It's a chick flick, but your husband probably wouldn't mind watching it at all. A chick show, but your husband probably wouldn't mind watching it at all. It's about a doctor. She moves to a town. And it just goes through how um, she meets new friends, how she just gets along in the town. The town is super cute and all the characters, you just become really invested in them. And it's just a really great, lighthearted show. 
and you'll absolutely love it. So Heart of Dixie probably would be my absolute number one and it'll just be a good escape, especially during the times that we're in right now. The next one is Royal Pains and this one has eight seasons, so it'll take you a while to get through it. And this is also another doctor show and it talks about a doctor um, who loses his job and then he decides to be like kind of like an on-call doctor to go to people's houses and he um, works on the rich and famous and those are kind of his clients and it's just really good and this is another kind of lighthearted one it's a doctor show so it's gonna have some tough moments but you're gonna love following the characters and through eight seasons you will really see how they evolve and change and grow Okay, we're down to number eight, and this would be Cheer. And then this one is definitely maybe a chick flick. Maybe your hus hubby wouldn't want to watch this one with you, but it is the only reality type show I have on my list. And it only has one season so far, but it follows a cheer team and their ups and their downs. And it gives you the backstory of each of the characters on this cheer squad. And it's really heart wrenching and it has some great performances and you guys will absolutely love it. If you love cheerleading, dance, anything like that, which I am so obsessed with, you'll love this show, Cheer. And then number nine, we're almost done with this list, so I did get through it pretty fast. Number nine is The Rain, and I think this made it on one, one of my other lists too, but um, this is another, it's um, kind of a darker drama, and it um, follows these characters. There's like this deadly rain, and... Um, it follows the different characters as everybody has to like shelter in place, um, kind of like we're doing now, but they have to shelter and not be in the rain because it changes you and makes you different. And it shows how these very, very young characters navigate through this new world where this rain has absolutely changed everything around them. And, um, it does have subtitles, so if you don't mind subtitles, then you will absolutely love this story. Like I said, it's a thriller, and you want to know what happened or how the characters got in the spot that they got it. They um, find themselves in, so you'll love it. The Raid. And then the last one on my list is Designated, Designated Survivor. And this is a presidential show, and it follows um, the main character in it. Something happens and he has to become president and it just follows his journey along just being kind of thrown into presidency and you follow along with his family and you get to learn their backstories and then people that work with him and it's just um, a really good show because I learned stuff that I never knew. I didn't know that there was a designated survivor. And I didn't know that um, some of the protocols and the things that they had in place. But if you love presidential shows, um, you will absolutely love this one. Um, it's pretty great. So I hope I gave you a little bit about each show without giving away the main plots. But those are my top 10 shows that you guys should binge watch right now since we have tons of time to watch them. Um, I know you guys are probably mamas and parents like me, so you know we can only binge watch them once the kids go to bed. But these are our during nap time. But these are great shows to keep you guys occupied. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Cheers!